welcome to my playhouse and today well before I start I would like you to go down and uh, find the like button so that you know where it is because I found out that if I ask you in front of the videos you're much more likely to like the video so please like and watch um, we're gonna look at this server up here oh this is what the weatherman feels like um, it's a IBM 3650 and it's a model one and this server has 18 gigabytes of memory and I wanted to show you how many servers this servers can run in VMware ESXi 5.5.0 I wanted to put an amount of servers on the, the physical host and show you how the RAM works how the servers are able to to use the RAM I have prepared that so let's go have a look here we are inside this server and I'm just gonna go through the numbers it's a IBM system x3650 and it's the IBM model 7979b something and it has two CPUs and they have four cores each and these are three gigahertz processors it's the x5450 uh, and this is a fairly cheap server it's not it's not sold anymore so if you want one of these it's gonna be on ebay and it's gonna be used um, this server has 18 gigabytes of memory right there and right now the system all by itself is using about one and a half gigabytes to I have no idea what it uses that for um, so what I did I went in and I made a lot of servers right here 2008 servers I'm just gonna pick one of them and see what that is it's a server with two, two virtual CPUs and it has four gigabytes of memory and the rest is not that important it has some disk hard drive thingies so with the host server and 18 gigabytes of memory uh, my expectations would be that this host would be able to run four of these servers let's just start four of these servers and see what happens Mark these four, Rich. and right click and power on. And there we go, we just powered on these four servers. And I'm gonna log into the first one and show you what we got. And it's right here. along in just a second or two there it is it takes a bit longer when you boot four servers at once but it got there I don't know if I can go back in and I'm just gonna log in I'm just gonna get rid of that and I'm just gonna log in at the administrator right there and inside this server I have this little CPU stress thing that will stress the CPU just a little bit it's gonna it's gonna be playing that this server is actually in use and what I found from where I work is that the the average server is used about 5% the CPU is used about 5% on all of the servers some are used more and some are used less and yeah this has a tendency to, to just go up and down around 5% sometimes it's 5 sometimes it's 3 and sometimes it's 7 and I can I can ask this little program to to stress the processors a lot more I thought um. oh it's probably not that one it's 
probably just want a PC. Yeah, it's it's stress, stressing it a lot more, but I wanted to to act more like a normal pro computer, so I'm just gonna stress it a little bit because that's about how much the servers normally do where I'm from. Like they don't do much, and it's not gonna be an issue. Let's see the memory. The, where is that? That is that's down here. There is four gigabytes of memory, and it's, it says that there's 3.554 gigabytes free memory. Mm, that's weird. It's only using 457 megabytes. It's not a lot for a server. So let's do that. Um, I was very lazy when I when I installed this server, so I have to log in to activate this. That's a bit stupid. I'm just gonna do that really quick. Now we have four servers and they should all be running the little stress program using the processors on the server for about 5% and they have two processors each or two cores um, so it's it's not 5% five pro, five of the of the host but 5% of the of the CPU power that this service has available for them so we're gonna minimize that and well we have turned on four servers and they each uh, have been given four gigabytes of memory so they should be using 16 gigabytes of memory and the system itself should be using 1.5 gigabyte of memory so we should be at 17.5 gigabyte of memory let's see where we are at oops we have 18 gigabyte of memory but we are only using 3.5 gigabytes of memory and we can see the cpu up here we can see the the virtual machines they are here and they are using they're using a little bit well it seems that i should be able to power on more machines here four machines was not enough to stress this out so luckily i made more let's go in and power on let's see if we can power on another four machines power on and I cheated I've powered on all the machines and I have been in and logged in so that the little test program is running in the background and you can actually see that the disk space it grows I have no idea why that happens, but well, it does. So let's go back to the summary. And with eight machines running, we are now using five and a half gigabyte of memory. 5.455 something. And the CPUs are being used a little bit more. We're just over one core of CPU usage now. Um, so with eight servers we are still good and we have already over committed the RAM of about twice as much as it should be able to do so if all of these machines suddenly want to use the four gigabytes of memory well they would have one hell of a battle uh, okay I think we'll just go and power on the rest of them just go and take from number 9 to number 15 and that's another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 machines and let's see what happens if we power those on power on it's not complaining I'm gonna do the same I'm gonna wait for them to boot up and I'm gonna log in so that the little CPU stress test program is running we can see the little CPU stress test running over here 
it's apparently it's using just over five percent. The CPUs are three gigahertz, and there are two of those, so there are six gigahertz available. So five percent of that would be about three hundred. Um, so it's using just a little bit above that. And again, I cheated. The servers are now powered on, and I've been on the console console of all of them to log in so that the little test program will run and we can see when they just boot up they use a lot of memory or at least they think they do and then they settle down and do something else with the memory I have no idea what this how that works but if we go in here we can see that with 16 machines running we are now using 8 gigabytes of memory. That's under half of what we got. I didn't want to make any more Windows 2008 servers. I think the reason that they're able to do this is because all of these servers are alike. It's the same. I made like an image of the servers. If we go up here and choose VMware and templates uh, I made this template I made one 2008 server and made it into a template and then I made all these servers from that template and I went in and gave them um, their own names back and go into a server and see how it uses its memory we can see that it has only 230 megabytes of private memory and 3.69 gigabytes of shared memory and then it has a little bit of unaccessed memory something that it's not using at all but on the host, it's it's only using 334 megabytes of memory, and that's not a lot for a Windows 2008 server. A little time has passed, and now actually the 16 machines are only using 6.181 gigabytes of memory, and that's because they're slowly settling down uh, and then they settle up <laughs> okay um, and they find out what memory that they can share and when all of these machines are alike or almost alike they have a lot of memory in common like all of these machines has the same drivers uploaded into memory and that means that oh this doesn't say a lot it does say something about the capacity of memory. I have no idea how that works, but the machines, let's go into a machine number two. Let's, we haven't seen number two yet. And that's the shared amount of memory, 3.71 gigabyte of memory is the amount that is shared. If I go in on one of these servers and start using all of the memory, of course, it will not be able to share that memory with the other servers. So if I do that on a couple of servers, I would probably be able to peek it out and the server would run out of available memory and it would start all of the other tricks that it's got. It can it can swap memory, like write some of, if some of the memory is not regularly being used, it can put it on, on the hard drive it can compress the memory like shipping it can do ballooning and that's like putting a balloon inside of the virtual machine and blowing that up and all the memory that is inside of the balloon can then be given to to some other machine unaccessed and active is not something to save memory if you install a lot of machines that are alike, you can fit a lot of them inside 
a VMware host. Like 16 machines of 4 gigabytes, that's 64 gigabytes of memory. And we only have 18, and we're not even using all of it. Right now we are only using 6.186 6 gigabytes of memory. And we are using just under two cores to host everything. So I would guess that if this machines was doing like this, if if this was a running server and it was doing its job, I could fit a lot more on this server without no without problems. I'm not sure how many, but probably twice as many wouldn't be a problem. I'm not gonna do that. It took couple of hours maybe three hours just to make these so with nine servers over here uh, yeah nine they're all the way down this, behind this screen with with nine servers just like the one we just looked at and I would probably be able to fit twice as many that would be 32 2008 servers on each that's a total of 288 Windows 2008 servers with each 4 gigabyte of memory. That's a lot. That's one of the big benefits of, of VMware ESXi 5.5.0 and a lot of the other versions as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy VMware. It's free. You can get a free edition on VMware's homepage. You just have to log in and create an account. And you will get their free edition of VMware and you just have to make sure that your hardware is compatible with VMware but even if it's not compatible it might be anyway these servers are not on the VMware um, compatibility list anymore if you check it out I think these servers are good for VMware 4.1 but they won 5.5.0 without I haven't found any problems yet Thank you for watching, do subscribe to my video and give it that thumbs up that you forgot when you started this video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.